What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be primarily going over the alleged plot details that you could have expected going into Scream 7. And the reason I'm saying alleged plot details and why I'm going over them in this video is because of what has happened yesterday and it's because of the fact that Viewer Non put out yesterday that they've heard that Scream 7 is being reworked or being overhauled. So starting from scratch, if you will. So it sounds like we have, again, like I suggested in my video yesterday, a new script on the way, which isn't shocking because if you take your lead out, you most likely are going to have to rework your lead into the story by coming up with some type of switcheroo that explains their absence that you cannot just simply do by writing them out if they make up a lot of the bulk of your story. But Spyglass put out a comment in response to their decision making yesterday stating this was from variety spyglass's stance is unequivocally clear we have zero tolerance for anti-semitism or the incitement of hate in any form including false references to genocide ethnic cleansing holocaust distortion or anything that flagrantly flagrantly crosses the line into hate speech my whole thing here is this when I look up who runs Spyglass, I'm not too shocked, but this goes back to what I was saying yesterday. Hollywood has to get away from this stuff. This stuff is very much so way too involved now when it comes to the filmmaking process and just putting out quality content that is intended to entertain the masses of people that make up this nation and across the globe. All of this stuff that has them bickering with one another, leave that at the door. All of that personal stuff, you need to leave that at the door. That has nothing to do with making a movie and stuff like that. Yes, I can stand behind the fact that, yes, you can argue a company should be able to fire who they want to if you don't align with their principles. I can understand that. But my argument is that those principles should come into the context of what you are doing on the in your role as a as a star, as a actress, actor. Melissa being in support of Palestine, that's not grounds to fire her. That has nothing to do with movie making, in my opinion. Whatever. Now there's a rumor that Jenna Ortega could be out the door because she's looking to get her contract with Scream tossed out the window in response to what has happened with Melissa Barrera. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. This smells an awful lot like an awful lot like a, another IP. It sounds like Spyglass might be better suited for that IP because this is just ridicul ridiculousness. And quite honestly, I would say it's to some degree in this context, since this is Hollywood, a level of thuggery from them. They need to go. I think they need to sell the rights. That's two strikes now. Again, if you saw my tweet yesterday, I don't need three to see what the problem is. The problem is clearly Spyglass. They need to go. But diving into these alleged plot details for Scream 7. So Scream 7, we know, I've already discussed, was going to be a Christmas set film. My landing source had revealed this subtly by saying it's going to be the most wonderful time of the year. And again, like I mentioned in another video when I revealed this, like a fool, I didn't catch on until months later. But upon my stupidity being corrected, I went back to them and asked, well, what other alleged details have you gotten? Now, this was a conversation we had back in July or so. But mind you, this person, again, has been right about Maxine with me. They've been right about the Exorcist Believer and other things with me so far. Anyway, here are the characters that Scream 7 would have had. You would have had Sam, Tara, Chad, Mindy, Gail, Kirby, Cindy, Mark, Christina Carpenter, Leslie Mocker, and, wait for it, Sydney's children. Now, obviously, there are other characters, but I'm trying to get trying to get to the goods, if you will. We were going to go back to L.A. I'm not sure if we would have been in Hollywood exactly, but we were going to go back to L.A. So there's your Scream 3 nod already. And here's the plot, essentially. Well, how the plot would have been structured, if you will. Two stories would have been unfolding. Ghostface would have been targeting Sydney and her family. And then attacks would have happened with the Carpenters as well. So my assumptions is you would have possibly had two sprees that ultimately got connected in the finale. Also, there would have been two killers again, from what I know. Christina is trying to repair her relationship with Sam and Tara during this story. Mindy has started up a like a podcast or a YouTube channel of sorts, if you will. I'll call it a podcast. There se seems to be some rifts in the core four where certain folks take issue with others over actions and drama that's been ongoing. 
but I'll not get too specific just in case this story does indeed still get brought to life. From what I understood, Stu is indeed not alive in this in any sort of capacity because he's related to a possible motive in the story. But here's the real tea. In true Screen 3 nod fashion, we got a secret sibling. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> the Screen 3 twist that would have been in Scream 7, since it's being reworked, would have been a lot of what you guys have heard me talked about, talk about while twisting it around in my videos to keep it safe. Allegedly, we would have gotten one last Marine Prescott twist. And this is related to Christina Carpenter. So Christina and Billy Loomis, they were actually dating before Billy was even with Sydney. We know Roman steps in. He informs Billy about the affair with his little homemade movies, motivates Billy to kill Maureen, etc. Billy starts pursuing Sydney to start a relationship with her so he can get close to her and kill her mother. Billy kept this up for a whole year after the fact because he just wanted to keep sticking it to Maureen through her daughter. So he never really had feelings for Sydney. He was always with Christina. He only got with Sydney because of what he found out in regards to who was responsible for his parents breaking up. So again, he kept this up for a year, but we know that what happened during this during this is that Christina got pregnant with Sam while he was still screwing around with Sydney. Billy, of course, ended up dying after he was unmasked as Ghostface and Christina latched on to Tara's dad as a fall guy when Billy's plans didn't work out and he was revealed to be a murderer. That's all I will say as of now. But Spyglass, again, you guys need to relinquish the rights to the IP. That's what my stance is on this at this point. I think that Spyglass has got to go because the pay dispute is one thing. That's one thing I can kind of be like, OK, while I don't 100 percent think that was a situation that really should have gone down and it could have been avoided this is like you just jumping the jumping the shark 10 times more so you've outdone somehow what you did with nev you have got to go <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below again all of those details are just alleged notice i did not reveal everything some stuff you might be questioning and some stuff again might be not might not be too clear because all of this stuff again is not is not being completely revealed because if it still happens i don't want to ruin the entire movie but you know i thought i was done but then i saw this tweet from Cinestealth who is stating that apparently nev campbell who i know has a much more involved role in scream 7 than she would have had in scream 6 is still being hardballed by Spyglass. So they said, and I'm sorry, but F it. I have it on very good authority that Spyglass were still trying to play hardball with Nev as recently as right after the strikes ended. Now, of course, that I again will say is alleged, but here's the thing. You already did it once. You already might be doing it twice because of the fact that Nev did say at Monster Mania there is someone at the top who only cares about money. And you know, I'm not going to say you're you're wrong to, to care about money. That's not what I'm trying to get at. But when it's conflicting with so many other things and making everything a part of this franchise just look so poorly, you got to go. You got to go. What if for those of you who are familiar with uh, everybody hates Chris, what does Rochelle say to that creepy tenant they had? Spyglass got to get their spooky ass out of here. This is not it. We don't want anything that's being cooked. We don't want to know what the ingredient is. We don't know. We don't want to know any of the recipes. We don't care. You guys have got to sell these rights. I'm pretty certain that Jenna Ortega will not be back. I'm pretty certain that a lot of the other co-stars, they're going to stand in solidarity with Melissa Barrera because this grandstanding shit that Hollywood likes to do, it's time for that to stop. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.
You know, I thought I was done, but then I saw this tweet from Cinestealth, who is stating that apparently Nev Campbell, who I know has a much more involved role in Scream 7 than she would have had in Scream 6, is still being hardballed by Spyglass. So they said, and I'm sorry, but F it. I have it on very good authority that Spyglass were still trying to play hardball with Nev as recently as right after the strikes ended. Now, of course, that I again will say is alleged. But here's the thing. You already did it once. You already might be doing it twice because of the fact that Nev did say at Monster Mania, there is someone at the top who only cares about money. And, you know, I'm not going to say you're you're wrong to, to care about money. That's not what I'm trying to get at. But when it's conflicting with so many other things and making everything a part of this franchise just look so poorly, you got to go. You got to go. What if for those of you who are familiar with uh, everybody hates Chris, what does Rochelle say to that creepy tenant they had? Spyglass got to get they spooky ass out of here. This is not it. We don't want anything that's being cooked. We don't want to know what the ingredient is. We don't know. We don't want to know any of the recipes. We don't care. You guys have got to sell these rights. I'm pretty certain that Jenna Ortega will not be back. I'm pretty certain that a lot of the other co-stars, they're going to stand in solidarity with Melissa Barrera because this grandstanding shit that Hollywood likes to do, it's time for that to stop. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.